Hello and welcome to another Expert Insight interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeline or CRM, joining you as usual from San Diego. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Will Henshaw, who's just up the road in LA. How are you doing, Will? Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is, wherever you are. Yeah, and Will is the partner and CEO of Metal.Men. Will is a veteran startup entrepreneur, inventor, and an artist. And he was once part of London B. So if anybody from the early 90s remembers dancing to uh, I've Been Thinking About You, well, Will and his mates that was me. responsible for that. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, I was the guitar player, the founder of the band, the main writer. And uh, I, was, I was with the band for seven years from 87 to 94. It was wonderful. We yeah. are very successful. I'm absolutely delighted to report. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so fantastic. And uh, you're also the uh, co-author of this new book, Masculine Intelligent, a yes. a Intelligence, Eight Core Principles of the World's Most Successful Men. So maybe we just start off, Will, maybe just explain what Metal Men is to begin with, what Metal is, sure. and then let's get into the book. Metal, the best way of describing Metal is it's like an edgier version of TED for successful men. That's what this is. Um it is a men's group, and we have our own TED-level set of speakers on a regular basis. We do a mastermind on a Saturday morning. About three, yeah, about three years ago now, my partner Ken and I were talking, and we're like, "Well, we've got this group of you know hundreds and hundreds of these guys who we know well, and the thing about the metal men's group is that we are from very." different backgrounds so right. metal is an acronym media entertainment technology artists and leadership but that's where we started uh, in la we've been going for about 20 years um but now there's a whole ton of other acronyms could be added because we've got guys who are in medicine robotics ai crypto finance law i mean it's a really uh, it's a really uh interesting uh, group of guys from many different backgrounds. But the thing we have in common is all of us, we're all successful in a certain way. Right. And it's not just being successful, you know, raising three daughters and doing a good job of that. I mean, that's what we all have to do. It's about being excellent at what you do. And so um, Ken and I were talking and we said, I wonder if there's anything in, could we get, are there any principles that successful men, particularly like us, uh, mm -hmm. the group's age, by the way, is sort of 35 upwards, and we've got guys into their 80s as well. So it's a broad, broad uh, set of ages. And so we did a survey with 450 of our guys, a mm -hmm. really deep, open-ended uh, right. survey. And uh, we wanted to know that. Uh, what, you know, what do we have in common? What is the, what's the, what's the what matters to you in life? Uh, right. you know, how do you hit your targets? And there are indeed eight principles and i'll go through them um it, they're not that difficult to get your head around and yeah. you'll probably find yourself slapping your forehead a couple of times <laughs> thinking about and, and before you go there why yeah. why focus on men um that's a really good question men are we are better men in the rest of our lives when we're regularly in the cave with other men mm. um and um we keep each other tuned up. We're an independent organization. We we have two golden rules. We never talk politics in the group, and we never talk about religion, yeah. which means that we just get to know each other as guys. Yeah. And yeah, if anybody listening to this is interested, just go to metal.men. That's what it's all about. And we yeah. do uh, we do hikes and we do other things uh, with with open that are open to anyone. But we find by being in the company of other heart centered good men. We're not, as I said, we're not only a, an independent group, but we're yeah. not affiliated with anyone. So we are a really an independent group of, uh, of thinkers. Um, I think the success principles are highly valid for pretty much anyone, to be right. honest with you. But obviously, we are focused on men because that's who yeah. we are. Yeah. Um, if okay, you're interested, well, yeah. I, 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 go ahead. Let, no, let's jump into the principles. It's it, it's fascinating. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you. And I love the fact no religion, no politics. So that <laughs> yeah. cuts out most uh, pub conversations in Ireland anyway. But, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, so let's dive into the uh, right. principles. So these are um, in order of 
the the importance and the priority of these across our members. So we started off with 450 guys. Then we mm -hmm. we sort of dialed in deeper to come up with focus groups and then one on ones. And then we 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 cross referenced and did all kinds of things. And then we used all kinds of software to you know pull out the the details. the The first uh, principle for successful men is being curious. Yep. Curiosity. And a good example is if you're on a plane and you don't open your laptop or your phone, whatever, whatever, there's the airline magazine. I bet you pick it up and just look through it and you're like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Guavas in da -da 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 -da, yeah. right? And all of a sudden you're like, yeah, that's so interesting. So it's having a curiosity about everything around us. And then that leads into the second, which is creativity. So being curious and then being creative. So you might be like, I'm making this up, but it's a good, good example. Mm -hmm. Guavas, the guava farm, South America. That's interesting. What's the guava? Oh, mm -hmm. ah, creative. Ah, I think I know someone that, and then you're off on a tear about thinking about, oh, there's a business possibly there. I'm going to look up guava, guavalosangeles.com and I make a dead, here I am. Off. <laughs> yeah. You're familiar? Yeah, do you know, Will? Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I think those those are fantastic because I love the uh, even starting with the curious because that's what I always say today when people ask about sales or anything, who are the best salespeople? They're the most curious. Curious. And and unfortunately, we live in a world today that's so distracting that a lot of people have lost that kind of sense of curiosity because they're just allowed themselves be distracted all the time by this nonsense that's coming at them yeah. from our from especially yeah. from our little narcissist friend over here who wants oh, attention 24 7. i know i know but it's true um you know we'll talk about this in a minute but sales is how is is the is the gasoline of everything we do it's, mm. it's, you know sales is everything and you've got to be curious and you've also got to be creative it yeah. depends what kind of sales you're in um resilience is the third thing mm. which is never give up you know or know when know when to go oh this experiment has taught me a great deal and i'm going to move on this is not right. a failed company it's an experiment in in trying to find a business model that works mm. right? um so resilience uh and then integrity as you get into your 40s as a guy, you realize that you've got to keep your word. Yes. <laughs> yeah, your word, your word, your word is, uh, yeah, your word is something is, is oftentimes all you have. But I mean, sometimes right. it's, it's the most critical thing. If you lose that, you lose everything. Like if you're not a man of your word, right. I mean, what are you really at the yeah. end of the day? I think that's such a critical thing. And integrity today, it's, I mean, it's, it, it you just be honest that the bar is set pretty low, I think, unfortunately, mm. on integrity right now. So yeah. if you display high levels of integrity, you're going to stand out. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, you've got sort of a, a you know, a global uh, look at how integrity is, is handled mm. by, you know, the global leaders. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, it's people that you're directly working yeah. with, you know, and your integrity has a great deal to do with how people perceive you later on, you know. Um, next one is brotherhood. In other words, having guys around you that you've selected that can help you, guys that understand that have got you that. Uh, when in in the Metal Men group, we have a, a weekly meeting, an internal meeting for the members only called, called um, the Foundry. And the Foundry is a unique group work framework that we work in and how it works is it's on a grid which means that every man who is there gets the time to speak because you get eight minutes to speak right. you get three minutes to speak here and the full attention of the group is 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 uh, on each member in mm -hmm. the foundry and uh, we do them virtually and in person and uh it's a really good example of how brotherhood works we've we've got so many things in common you, I've only just met you, John, but I guarantee yeah. you that if you've got kids, you've been through teenage mm -hmm. lunacy. You cannot believe what they're saying to you. Um, you know, you, you, we've all got challenges with tax. We've all got challenges yeah. with health. We've all got challenges mm -hmm. with with uh, our partners. Yeah. You know, it's 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 the same thing for all of us. And when you're with other guys, it really helps you get some some sort of context. Yeah, and I, and I think what's what's great about that is that, I mean, I think it's like understanding that, you, number one, you're probably the issues you have, 
there may be they may be unique to you, but they're not unique, right? I mean, there are right. other people have had variations yeah. of them can help you. Yeah. Um, and just that that idea of just coming together and listening to other people or knowing that for the next three minutes or the next eight minutes, I know will the rest of the group is going to be listening to me uh, and focusing right. on what I have to say. That yeah. in and of itself is yeah. obviously a huge, huge thing. Yeah. Something that men need training on generally and i'm talking now not only our group just worldwide sure. is learning how to listen yeah exercise your listening muscle because yeah. if your wife or your domestic partner or whoever you live with is on a tear about something you've just got to learn to shut the f up and <laughs> listen yeah and i think that's the that that is one of the issues i think and in, in, in certainly a lot of men have that trait but it's where it's where you start talking, Will, about some issue, and I'm immediately into I'm into fixing mode. I'm going to tell right. you, I don't even I haven't even listened to the whole issue yet, but I'm already yeah. telling you how to fix it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, the next uh, the next principle we found is um, financial literacy. Mm. And this was surprising. Now, to be a successful guy, uh, to be a successful human, mm -hmm. you've got to understand. How fine, how money works. You've got to be able to make money, keep money, and grow money. Mm -hmm. You've got to understand that uh, the, you know, what do you sell? Goods and services, right? That's fundamentally that covers everything we do. Yeah. And so you've got to understand the value of what you're selling. I mean, this is what you do. You, you mm -hmm. <laughs> we're like yeah. your pipeline sales funnels. And I've been around this a lot in, in, in businesses. I've started and run eight different yeah. businesses. Um, so um, understanding financial literacy, and it doesn't mean you've got to be a whiz on the stock market. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got to understand the, the, you know, the intricacies of crypto. No, it just yeah. means you've just got to understand how it works. Don't be scared yeah. of it. Yeah. And it's funny when you say that because, as um, you know, I've been in, in the States, whatever, I think working 26, 27 years now, quite, you know, different businesses, different whatever. But I did discover it, at different stages how actually a lot of people didn't understand how business works. They could be right. in business and or people saying like they're just focusing on top line growth and they're not understanding how the rest mm -hmm. of it works mm -hmm. and you know, why mm -hmm. they're not making money and why mm -hmm. there's that. So I, I would agree with you. I think it's actually quite amazing how even people who look like they're successful in business or people who are in companies that look like right. they're successful but have very little financial acumen yeah yeah we, we, we've all got friends that can't manage on 200 grand a year i'm like <laughs> <laughs> okay or <Or> more <laughs> <laughs> oh and your dad gave you the house so you don't have a mortgage payment and you can't manage on 200 grand a year dude yeah, yeah. and then you look back and you think well how did my dad uh how did my dad uh, with uh, five kids and a civil service salary back right. in ireland raise five kids and, a right. and have a house and everything yeah right <laughs> uh, so the next one um after financial literacy, uh, this is the seventh one out of eight, uh, mm -hmm. is professional development. This mm -hmm. means that in your career, you are always learning. Yeah, you, you've you've got a mentor. You've hired coaches. You're always, you know, keeping up to date. If you're a physician, you got to keep up to date with the latest, um, you know, uh, medical advances. You got to learn about new drugs that are coming out. You know, if you are an airline pilot, every year you have to go on a refresher. And 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 and. and. So, yeah. but it's not funny. It's not funny on that one, Will. Though, because uh, I, I talk about this a lot. Is right. we're we're great. Uh, a lot of people have hobbies, right? I, and maybe maybe golf is your hobby. And I guarantee you, you probably invest money on golf coaching. You probably have right. somebody help you with your swing every so often. Right. But you don't invest any money on what puts bread on the table, like your professional development. Right. And right. I'll just give you a good example. Personal example is when I got my first executive level job, like on, on the executive team, I hired a coach. Right, first thing I did was hired a coach because I thought I need to understand this. And one of the things the coach said to me, he said, well, what are you trying to do? And I said, well, I want to be the best, you know, VP on this. I want to blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and then she just said to me, well, why, why wouldn't you want to be the CEO? And I was like, well, I didn't never thought about that. So, I mean, I, that's nice in the future. And she goes, no, that's your goal from now on. And then later on, like I did, I was CEO of a couple of companies, mm -hmm. but, but that just shows the power of coaching. Like I, at the time would probably be happy to just do what I was doing, like do a decent job, but she sent me on a different course because and, and you know really impacted my career hugely 
Yeah, it's often that that many of the walls around us, um, particularly men in midlife, are there. That we we've kind of got used to the to the to the walls. Mm -hmm. um, I remember being in uh, Sri Lanka. I was at a wedding a few years ago, and there were all these elephants uh, uh, in the late afternoon tethered tied to a post i remember driving past and they were tied with one leg uh, with a tiny piece of string <laughs> and like really like a, a real tiny piece of string and i asked someone how why don't the elephants just walk off they go when they were really tiny elephants they used this piece of string to tie them to the to the post and mm -hmm. they learned that they couldn't they couldn't walk off because of the string as they grow up they never they always knew that the, <laughs> and so much of our life is we've still got that piece of string and guess what? No, it just walk away. It'll break. You'll be fine. And mm -hmm. so I, I find with the men I know in metal as successful men, um, there's a, a um, one of our metal men. He's in the book, actually, Chris Foss, who wrote the book. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I interviewed his son, actually. Uh, while oh, back. Yeah. He's a genius. All of the family. Yeah. And Chris is a close personal friend of mine. And he is, he defines this. Uh, he defines this notion of be creative, you know, throw the things away, just mm -hmm. uh, understand that, uh, you know, never split the difference. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Then <clears throat> moving swiftly to the end, which is um, work life balance. Uh, this is the eighth principle, which is you have to have a handle on this. Mm. Um, and is, we live in a time that we've got, you know, real life, um, which is family, friends, yep. dinner, smell of roses, da da da. Slow down, be present. And then you've got screen life. And over here in screen life, it's an accelerating rate of change. It's mm -hmm. insane how fast it's yep. going. And so as successful men, you have to be in both of these camps. You have to be like up to speed with the latest in AI mm -hmm. and, you know, anything to do with tech over here. Quantum computers are going to change your name. Okay, oh my God. Yeah. And then over here, you got to slow down. Get on the beach, walk with your kid, sit with your dog, take a breath, put the phone down, right? Yeah, I, 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 I think, Will, that is, for me, I think that is the biggest challenge that people face today is because I hear all the time and I'm, I know, I'm sorry, ad nauseum friends, the audience have heard me say this before, but people say to me today, all they say, John, I'm the busiest I've ever been in my life. Right. right. I'm so right. busy. And I always say, are you, though? Or are right. you the most distracted you've ever been in your life? And I said, <laughs> because if we did those old time and motion studies and I stood behind you with a clipboard, how much of your day would I find that it's this thing that's actually robbing all your time and yeah. your alerts? So it's a real challenge. And I think people are almost afraid or afraid to spend time with their own thoughts mm -hmm. uh, and to separate from the digital world and everything and the constant mm -hmm. need to be instant with everything. I think people are, a lot of people I think are struggling with separation. Mm -hmm. I was uh, talking to a coach, one of the guys that's uh, in, in the community. He was a very successful very successful coach uh and he said one of the things he likes to do is to recommend that you do not have your work email on your personal phone mm. and i was like oh that's interesting yeah 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 so when you're at work on your work computer or laptop that's where your work is and when you close that i'll see you tomorrow and i was like well you've not obviously owned your own early stage <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's a luxury you can get to eventually, buddy. <laughs> well, I think that's a love. I think that's a. I think that's we'll we'll put that under. That's something to aspire to. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> the company Jaguar, and to not have the company email on my personal. Phone. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, so, so tell me, like, what are what are some of the things that people have said to you that they get out of being part of this group? Because it's a fascinating concept. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it's not new, as I said earlier on. We've yeah. been around for 20 years. Um, we started off uh, meeting every Saturday morning at a theater in West Los Angeles, mm -hmm. um, very, very local. And for I, I joined the group myself in 2009, 2010, maybe. And what you get out of it is being part of a group of highly capable guys who you would never normally meet. Mm. So, you know, 
if you and I met out somewhere socially, we may sure. well get on and we like each other. And I'd be like, hey, John, let's get a coffee. And we may have had time to cycle back and get a coffee. Right. I'm in Los Angeles. Come on up. Da, da, da. However, if you're part of a group, we meet every Saturday. There's a mastermind on Zoom every morning, every Saturday morning. Ted level speakers. There's lots of local guys. We, we've got members from all over the world. And mm -hmm. when guys get together in London, in Toronto, in Vegas, in San Diego. Um, and then we get together three times a year in person. We do something called the Palooza. And what the guys get out of it is a long-term connection with guys that you wouldn't normally know. Mm -hmm. And we, we kind of joke, but it's actually true. We're the guys that will show up at your hospital bed. We're the guys that care. We're the guys that will um, make the effort, give you a call. Um, Peter Hurley, the photographer, uh, he's he's the photographer's photographer. He lives in New mm -hmm. York. And um, he was one of the speakers at our Metal Palooza just a couple of weeks ago here uh, in Los Angeles. And he said that his brotherhood, his friends, are all guys that he's met through metal. And right. when he goes out in New York, he finds it difficult to meet other guys he can connect with. And that was that was yeah. interesting because he's Peter Hurley. What? You know, yeah, you, yeah. You no, that, you get to know people, really. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, because I was say, uh, I mean, that's interesting what you say about the the, the people who show up for you, because that's my always my I always say to people when they when you talk about like friends or people you can rely on. And I said, okay, I always go, okay, 3 a.m. in the morning, you broke down on the freeway. Who do you call? Right. <laughs> Who do you call that's actually going to show up and help you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, if if you remember a metal, John, and perhaps I'd like to invite you to come on in, uh, it would have been one of the metal guys, and yeah. they will show up. They will an hour later, if where they've driven down from wherever they are, and they'll show up and help you. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. Well, listen, then, Will, this has been fascinating, fascinating learning about uh, about metal men, and the book is called Masculine Intelligence: Eight Core that's Principles right, yeah. of the World's Most Successful Men. And yeah, there's Willis right. outline, curiosity, creativity, resilience, integrity, brotherhood, financial literacy, professional development, and work-life balance. Yeah. Um, all of Will's information uh, and Metal Men will be below this. But before yeah. we go, anything else you want to tell the people about Metal Men? About a third of our new members who get referred come in through the wives of the metal guys wives friends so it comes in through the wives saying hey my husband's in metal talking to a girlfriend saying to a girlfriend get your right. husband or boyfriend into metal <laughs> so <laughs> the, the ladies like it <laughs> oh that's fantastic i love it well listen thanks again will uh and as i said all will's information will be below this video so thanks again will thank you for watching and listening and i will see you all again very soon thank you thank you john